Hey, this is Jerry Maynard of Soul Success. Thank you for joining us where we talk about how can you have inner peace, inner joy, even when you're by yourself or you're in a crowd. Soul Success is about the essence of who you are, the real you, not the trophies that you have of success, not your clothes, your watch, your car, your house, but rather who you really are. Do you love yourself? Do you, are you operating in your divine destination, divine purpose? That's why we talk. And today I want to talk about you doing you. Oftentimes we'll have people say, hey, if you want to be successful, do like I do, or take these five steps and we could be successful. Sometimes we see other people who are doing things and we're like, oh, wow, blows my mind. I want to be just like that person. Let me say to you, be cautious of that because you don't know whether you can handle the light, the heat that goes along with being that person or being that person's position. You need to learn for you who you really are, not only according to your divine destination and purpose, but what you can handle, your DNA. You may not be able to handle the heat of being in front of the camera. You may need to be behind the camera. You may not be able to handle the heat of being the head coach. You may need to be the assistant coach. All of those positions are critically important to success, but you need to find out for yourself, your true self of who you are, so that you can operate and live within the anointing and appointment that God has for you. Let me break it down. There have been opportunities for me where I have had the opportunity to do some great things for General Hospital, um, building the museum, the National Museum for African American Music, the baseball stadium off of Jefferson Street, and I could go on and on and on, creating jobs and opportunities for minority-owned businesses. And in that, when you do those things, you're in the public spotlight. And when you're in the public spotlight, that means you're going to get attacked. You may get some praise, but you're also going to get the haters. The question becomes whether I, Jerry Maynard, can take that heat. Are my shoulders built to take that on? And the answer is yes, because I was made for this. I was built for this. I was created for this. But there are others who, that's not their thing. They would rather be successful but they don't want the light on them. They don't want people looking at them. So they drive a car that, that doesn't bring attention to them. They wear clothes that don't bring attention to them. They make sure that they're not in publicity, that they're not in front of the camera like me. They make sure that they are not seen, but they're successful. They're flying under the radar. It doesn't mean that they're any less successful than me. We just have different paths. Why? Because some people in their DNA, they simply do not want to deal with that heat of having an X on your front and a target on your back. Because once you get out into this public sphere of what we call success, there are gonna be people who are gonna praise you and there are gonna be people who are going to hate you. So you gotta figure out for yourself what's best for you. Success comes from knowing who you are and to do you. I wanna give you an example. I was dealing with a friend of mine who became a head coach they were the assistant coach. They loved their job. They'd get there, they set up everything. Uh, this is a basketball coach, and he was responsible for dealing with personnel, the players, and all that. And as an assistant coach, he knew he was in his divine purpose. He loved being behind the scenes. He loved getting the stats. He loved dealing with the players one-on-one. -on -one. The head coach had to deal with the media. The head coach had to deal with the administration of the college. The head coach had to deal uh, uh, with the parents. The head coach had to deal with the community, going out doing these community functions and dinners and all that kind of stuff. The head coach had to deal with the alumni. Well, the head coach left. And when that head coach left, my friend, who was the assistant coach, became the interim head coach. And you know what happened? He faltered. You know why? Not because he wasn't good at basketball, not because he didn't know how to coach, not because he wasn't excellent at what he did. It was, that was not his purpose. He didn't operate in that. He didn't want the media. He couldn't deal with the criticism. He couldn't deal with the reporters putting a microphone in his face, challenging him all the time, challenging his character, challenging his expertise, all the criticism, the parents, the alumni, the administration, <laughs> just, just the news. That wasn't for him. So he ended up finding another spot where he could be a good assistant coach and let the head coach be the face. Let the head coach be the one who dealt with the media and the alumni in the administration, 
All he wanted to do was work with basketball players to develop young men and women to be the best they could be in basketball. I say that is an example all of us need to look at and follow. If you're a behind the scenes type person, don't try to get in front because you say, oh my God, they're a celebrity. You don't know what they go through when they're in front of the camera, as opposed to what they would go through if they're behind the camera. I oftentimes have been in this situation that I was a colonel or lieutenant to the general. I knew I was not supposed to be the front man or the front person. I knew that I was not to be the head, but rather I was there to assist because I understood that with my personality, with my DNA, with my emotional structure, with my mental structure, with my spiritual structure, I know that there are sometimes doors I should not walk through. Not all money is good money because if it doesn't fit who you are, don't do it. If it's not who you really are, you can only fake it for so long. And then pretty soon, you may not be feeling in your soul the way you should. You may be acting, you may be portraying, but you're not really who you are. And then it's not fulfilling. I oftentimes think about things that I've done in the past where I saw somebody else and I saw the path that they took. And I said to myself, you know what? I want to be just like Mike. <laughs> I want to be just like that person. And I didn't realize what they went through in their position. I didn't realize what they went through to get to where they are. I then stopped trying to be like Mike. I stopped trying to be like other people. I stopped looking at their position and where God has for them. And I started focusing on God, what do you have for me? What do you have for me? What should I be doing? Because God, you created me. You know my weaknesses. You know my strengths. You know what I can do and what I can't do. Now, I'm not telling you you shouldn't go to the deep and launch into the deep, stretch out, get uncomfortable. Yes, you should. But it has to be within your purpose. In other words, if you're not a head coach and you're better as assistant coach, God will stretch you as an assistant coach. God will launch you into the deep beyond your own understanding, beyond your own knowledge. But if you were never built to be the head coach, but you're there to help assist, to build somebody else up. Try not to be someone that you're not. Try not to be someone that you're not. There are two strategies that I've seen, and I want to leave you with this. I had a dear friend of mine who's no longer with us. He stated to me, he said, Jerry, when I grew up poor, he said, all I had were drug dealers and others who looked like they had money and success. And he said, I didn't have anybody who made money in business, as a lawyer, as a doctor, that I could look up to. He said, I told God that if I ever made it and I was successful, that I would go to the neighborhoods like I grew up and I would not only mentor, but I would show them, this is how you can be successful and these are the things that can happen once you're successful and you can do it legally and you can do it with honor. And so he bought Ferraris, he, he wore fancy clothes, and he would go right back to the neighborhoods that he grew up in or looked like the neighborhoods they grew up in because he wanted to show them. And he had a mentoring program where he would take 25 young men and say, hey, listen, you see this? You see that? You can do this without playing football sports. You can do this without being a singer or a rapper or a dancer. You can do this by being a business person because he wanted to show them, listen, you could have the Ferrari. You could have the, ha the, the big house. You can have all of these things. And he wanted to be able to show them. And he took the heat. There were a lot of people talked about him because he drove those Ferraris. A lot of people talked about him because he wore those fancy clothes. A lot of people talked about him because he was flashy. But he had a purpose in what he was doing. And he could handle the criticism. I have somebody else that's dear to me. Very dear to me. Just as successful as my other friend. And she took a different approach. She said, I do not want attention. I do not want anyone knowing my business. I do not want anybody talking about me and I don't want anybody knowing how much money I make. <laughs> and so she flies under the radar. If you see her, you never know that she's worth millions of dollars because she understands who she is. She still mentors women. She still mentors young people, but she does, she does it in a different way. She does it in a different way way that does not bring attention 
to her material accomplishments. That's the big difference. Both are right according to how they're made. I'm Jerry Maynard of Soul Success. Find out who you really are. I know that there are models and people say, oh, if you just do what I do, do how I did it, you could become me. You may not want to become that person because you don't even know what they went through to get there and you don't know what they're going through to stay there. Learn who you are. I learned the hard way, but I am so much happier now. I am glad being just me. I'm so successful. This is so success. Thank you for joining us. Have a great week.